Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All pleasure, Sir Prabhupada. Welcome, devotees, to our morning Bhagavatam class. This morning we will be, um, we are very, very close, very close towards the end of uh, Canto 1, Chapter 10. And today we will be hearing on uh, verse 33, 34, and 35. And the class will be given by His Holiness Chandramali Swami. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you and glory to Sri Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. All glories to the assembled devotees. Hari Hari Bal. Vanchi Kalpa Dhrubhas Chakri Basindu Vaiva Chakri Titanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namaho Namaha. Okay, so. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Tata Duragatam Sauri Kodavam Virahakuram Sauri Vartyam Ridham Snigdam Payatswanagarim Priyai. Out of profound affection for Lord Krishna, the Pandavas, who were of the Kuru dynasty, accompanied him a considerable distance to see him walk. They were overwhelmed with the thought of future separation. The Lord, however, persuaded them to return home, and he proceeded, proceeded towards Dwarka with his dear companions. <laughs> Uru jungle of Panchalam, Surasenam, Sayamunam, Brahmavartam Kuru Shaitram, Machyan Sarvasvatam Matam, Marudan Vamatikram Yam, Saurira, Viraiho Pranam, Anartam, Bhagavo Pagach, Chanvabaho Maga Vibahu. <laughs> Translation, O oh, Shanaka, the Lord then proceeded towards Guru Jangala, Panchala, Surasena, the land on the bank of the river Jamuna, Ramavarta, Kurushetra, Matsya, Sarva, Saraswata, the province of the desert, and the land of the scanty water. After crossing these provinces, he gradually reached the Saurira, Salvira, and Abira provinces, then went, then west of these reached Dwarka at last. Purport. The provinces passed over by the Lord in those days were differently named. The direction given is sufficient to indicate that he traveled through Delhi, Punjab, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Saurastha, and Gujarat, and at last reached his home province at Dwarka. We do not gain any profit simply by researching the analogous provinces of those days up to now. But it appears that the deserts of Rajasthan and the provinces of scanty water like Madhya Pradesh were present even 5,000 years ago. The theory of soil experts that the desert developed in recent years is not supported by the statements of Bhagavatam. We may leave the matter for expert geologists to research because the changing universes has different phases of geological development. We are satisfied that the Lord has now reached his own province, Dwarkadam, from the Kuru provinces. Shikudu Shetra continues to exist since the Vedic age, and it is sheer foolishness when interpreters ignore or deny the existence of Kuru Shetra. Magyam timidam dasya gena jena salakaya chaksu um militam yena tas my shri guru vena maha mama um vishnu padaya krishna prastaya bhutale 
Srimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gaudavani Kucharine Nirvishesha Sinyavadi Pastyatya Dei Sitarine Vanchakalpa Tarudascha Kripa Sindhupe Vachapatitanam Pavane Vyo Vaishnave Vyo Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadanda Rizivasari Gaur Mata Rinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare <clears throat> So here we see Bhagavatam not only deals with deep philosophical and transcendental matters of devotion, but gives us a uh, statements regarding geographical and geological arrangements that were there during the time of Lord Sri Krishna. And connects, as Prabhupada does, connects the places with the different names in the present day places. And he also challenges some of the statements given, especially in regard to Kurukshetra and also certain geological developments. It's interesting <clears throat> that Srila Prabhupada, though a very pure devotee of the Lord who's fixed on devotion to Krishna and Vrindavan and teaches that, but he also teaches in a broader sense, um, geology, astronomy, physiology, psychology, mathematics, <laughs> history, and various other sciences and subject matters from the perspective of the Vedic knowledge or the Vedic theories. Of course, they're not theories, they're actual factual statements. The Vedas contain all knowledge, both material and spiritual. Krishna points that out, even in the Bhagavad Gita, that the Vedas deal mainly with the three modes of material nature. And so we find that in presenting Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada covered a wide gamut of topics, including economics, sociology, political arrangements, <clears throat> military, health, <clears throat> everything. <clears throat> you might think in terms of why did he cover all of these? Because he wanted to establish the Vedic culture as the real and bona fide culture of the human race. In contrast to what is going on now, <clears throat> we learn in school history, but history from the Vedic point of view is not simply facts and figures and events. It's the lives of the most important events and men at that time who carried out those events as the focus for historical knowledge and historical research. <clears throat> and not simply you go to school and you learn different things that, about, that have no really any meaning in your life and they're just knowledge they're just uh, statements to <clears throat> fill up the history books that's all here we're seeing about geology <coughs> excuse me <coughs> uh, geography and uh, um, you know land structures so the point is that um, in becoming Krishna conscious, we have to accept everything that is coming by way of Vedic knowledge and not just pick and choose what we like and then mix in some of the modern day scientific theories, which are contrary to uh, true Vedic knowledge. Vedas are coming from the Supreme Personality of Godhead through his Representative Lord Brahma, Tene Brahma Hida Adi Kavaye. 
Rama heard all Vedic knowledge in the heart from Krishna directly. And Bhagavatam is the condensed essence of that knowledge. Of course, what we have and what we call Bhagavatam is a very limited edition of the Bhagavatam. The actual Bhagavatam contains millions and millions of verses. And even in, even in the higher planets, such as the, the realms of the demigods, they have uh, one million verses on Bhagavatam, and they don't have the complete Bhagavatam. So what we have is 18,000 verses, which is sufficient for enough study for many lifetimes and sufficient to give us self-realization in the form of transcendental knowledge and devotion. So this is um, very important to understand that we should except not only Prabhupada's statements about devotional service, but all his statements regarding the various categories that make up the human society. As Srila Prabhupada personally said, he wanted to bring back the Vedic culture in contrast to this materialistic culture, which is really based on a lot of speculation uh, focused on economic and sense gratificatory theories of success in life and not on real values or statements. Uh, even when they try to study beyond this planet, they, their knowledge is always incomplete. But the Vedas, especially Srimad Bhagavatam, has complete and perfect knowledge. So if you are versed in Srimad Bhagavatam, you are considered a learned scholar, not only in transcendental knowledge, but in all categories of life. Because as was explained by his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, Bhagavatam covers all subject matters in all areas of life. <laughs> of course, that would take some study to be able to reveal that, but it is all there in these 18,000 verses that we have. And it also has prophecy about what will be the future. Here, we're learning about a little historical event. The battle of Kurukshetra is over. And now Krishna is at Hastinapur. King Yudhisthira has been uh, situated on the throne. And now um, Krishna has taken care of all of his responsibilities. Now he's about to go to his place in Dwarka. Dwarka was a city created by Krishna in order to bring the residents of Vrindavan into Dwarka, many of them, not all of them. And so they would be free from the, the demons that were attacking Vrindavan at the time. And many of his intimate associates, friends, relatives, and uh, others, because Krishna in, in Kurukshetra was in the mood of a Kshatriya, so many of his military associates also were, are there in Dwarka. So Krishna had a desire to return to Dwarka, having completed his business in Hastinapur. Now, it says here that the... Uh, they were in the previous verse, the one that is not up, it was a great feeling of loss now that Krishna was going to leave and the anticipation of separation were causing great emotional out expressions of feelings towards Krishna, which makes it hard for Krishna to leave. <laughs> in fact, he acquiesced to that previously before he actually decided to go without changing his mind. When Yudhisthira asked him to stay long, he stayed longer. When Subhadra also, she was also requesting him and he also stayed long, longer also to give Subhadra because Subhadra's husband, uh, Abhimanyu had been killed. So she needed some consolation. And the Lord stayed. 
just as satisfied as devotee, although he had made plans to leave much earlier than when he actually left. So here we're learning a little bit about the love, or hearing about the love between the Lord and his uh, parts and parcels in different areas. And how the Lord wants to satisfy the devotees and how the devotees want to serve the Lord in a way that he is pleased. And so when it comes to the thinking that the Lord will now leave and there will be separation, it becomes intolerable, just the thought, and it causes them great unhappiness. Of course, that unhappiness, because it's relation in relationship to their love for, for Krishna, is transcendental, and it bring it awakens even greater forms of love towards Krishna in the mood of hankering for the association of Krishna. Even when he is already and when he's still present and he hasn't fully left, they are feeling the separation already. The anticipation is so strong. And this, this uh, mood of love and separation is the epitome of emotional expression. And in that love and separation, the beloved is experienced within the heart of the devotee who's feeling that separation because Krishna is not relegated to a particular place. When that separation becomes really strong, that person feels the presence of the Lord within their own heart. Still, they hanker for that presence on a personal level, but that presence in the Lord within the heart of his devotee is so sweet, but it's not, it's not simply sweet, it's like a chutney. Mm -hmm. A chutney is sweet, and some chutneys are really sweet, and chutneys are also a little spicy, a little spicy hot, and sometimes these two opposite forms of taste conflict for over the taste buds, and the taste buds are going in different directions at the same time. But it is, it is like that. They, people, they feel the happiness of the presence of the Lord within their heart and the pain that he is not personally present. So it's compared to a very well-formed chutney. And uh, this is called Vipralamba Bhav. There is some bog in Vipralamba. Some bog is um, uh, meeting Krishna in love, and Vipralamba is hankering for that meeting, although it's not there. Uh, in the material world, sometimes we see there is an element of love and separation coming from people, such as two lovers are there and then there's some separation. But what happens is initially that love increases due to the separation. It's similar to what is happening on the spiritual platform. But what happens after a while, and this is always the case, is that the persons who are feeling that separation, if they don't meet after a certain period of time, they start losing interest in that relationship and they look to fill that need for relationship with someone else, or they uh, just simply become miserable. <laughs> and therefore they don't really grow in life, but therefore material mood of separation from a, a beloved is not the same as it is on the spiritual platform because Krishna is never separated from his devotee, but it appears he is. And in that appearance, that hankering for that, that union again becomes very strong. In fact, it becomes so strong that even when the union comes, the anticipation of separation causes the union to lose some of the happiness that is there. 
that when the union comes after separation, the beloved or the lover actually starts to feel that the beloved will soon leave. And then again, I will be thrown in this whirlwind of, of separation, anchoring for that meeting and once again. So meeting can not even become perfected when the mood of separation is always prominent within the heart and mind. But that is the mood of bhakti and it's the mood of a devotee because we are separated from the Lord and therefore to develop that mood of separation is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mood that he taught. Taking the role of Srimati Radharani, he uh, was worshiping Krishna in that mood, always hankering for Krishna's presence. He would also go into uh, deep, deep states of consciousness where he would lose external connection with the, with the material existence. And he would be in Vrindavan with the gopis and with Krishna experiencing in that. And then when he would come out of that, either he was either brought out of that by his devotees or he would come out of it himself. He would feel overwhelmingly more miserable in the mood of love and separation. And so for us, we can cultivate that mood in the process of our day-to-day -day execution of Krishna consciousness. Hankering for the association of Krishna. And that is expressed by our desire to serve Krishna in a loving way. In other words, we do our service in such a way that to attract the presence of Krishna to come and accept our service. And if he does, then we feel very happy because we know he is accepting this service and we can feel his presence. But after some time, he leaves again and the devotee again feels lost. But the devotee doesn't give up their service because the service is what reconnects the devotee with Krishna, even in the mood of separation. And the expression of that, the quality of that service, both in the activity itself and in the devotion, uh, and height, heightens that loving relationship. And when it's not possible to be separated any more from the Lord, then Krishna will take the devotee back to the spiritual world. That is perfection in devotional service, when it becomes impossible to live without Krishna in, by being in this material world. Then we have reached the stage of perfection in loving relationship. But we practice that. <clears throat> And that, that, that is the mood of separation. Sometimes it's compared to what is called um, Purvaras. Purvaras means loving Krishna before meeting Krishna. The little gopis, when Krishna lifted Govardhan Hill, many of the younger gopis had never saw Krishna. But they were always thinking of Krishna, so they developed a, a mood of loving Krishna before meeting Krishna. They had heard about Krishna, but they had never met Krishna. And so Krishna, when he lifted Govardhan Hill, he wanted to satisfy these gopis by giving them his darshan for seven complete days. And they were completely satisfied to simply uh, take darshan of the beautiful form of Krishna standing there holding this big hill above of his head <clears throat> and smiling at the same time. <clears throat> he wasn't like Atlas who has to lift the world on his back and he's struggling and he's got a lot of big muscles. Sometimes he drops it. He has to re-pick it up again and so they caricature, you know, this person picking, but Krishna picks up Govardhan Hill with a little pinky of his left hand. And he can also do that with the entire universe. For him, it's, it's not even an effort. Now that's Krishna. <laughs> but the mood of separation is very sweet. And the mood that 
devotees should practice in their not that oh well Krishna is out here not here well I'll just go do something else no <laughs> otherwise if you go do something else then you're just pushing Krishna farther away that's all when we are not with Krishna but hankering for Krishna and expressing our love for Krishna by serving Krishna in a way that is pleasing to Krishna Krishna accepts that love and he appears in the hearts of his devotees and the devotee feels satisfied. Now this is Krishna consciousness. Okay, so I'll stop there. We covered a few of the aspects of this particular um, verses here. Oh, I'd also like to mention before we maybe we stop it. The last line is very important that Kuru Shetra continues to exist since the Vedic age. It is, as Prabhupada said, it is sheer foolishness when interpreters ignore or deny the existence of Kuru Shetra. Many devotees have been there. I have personally been to Kuru Shetra. We've also seen that the area where the battlefield was, that area was more than 22, 21 miles in existence, that area. It was huge. The whole battlefield area was more than 20 miles. So you can imagine, you know, uh, how many soldiers, infantry, and uh, 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 elephants, and horses, and chariots, and uh, Weaponry was there on that battlefield. It was huge. And it's, it's even been proven that that area is the original Kurukshetra because I don't know, maybe about 20 years ago, maybe a little bit more than 20 years ago, um, they found Bhima's club. Um, digging in one place in Kurukshetra, they uncovered a huge club, it was really large was bigger than a man and uh, this club is said to be to be the club of Bhima when he was there in Kurukshetra. So there are many other artifacts and remnants that have been discovered in that area and Kurukshetra is one of the most holiest of all places. It's the, it's the place where the gopis met Krishna when they came from Vrindavan to see Krishna and Kurukshetra, they left Vrindavan. That's a very sweet and very, very uh, deep uh, expression of emotion by not only the gopis, but many of the residents of Vrindavan, including Nanda Maharaj and uh, the cowherd men and others who had met Krishna after being away from Krishna for a long time. But the gopis weren't satisfied when they saw Krishna because he was dressed in his military clothing and they couldn't identify with that. They only know Krishna in, in his beautiful yellow dhoti and with a peacock feather with his beautiful, beautiful smiling face and decorated with forest minerals and flowers in different places around his transcendental form. So yes, Kuru Shetra still exists. We've been there. We've seen the area. We've all, they've also erected and is now, I think there will be, there's a plan to build a temple there. The plan has been there for years. There has been, um, uh, resistance by the, the local people in Kurukshetra, mostly the politicians, for whatever reason. But I think after now we've gotten permission and uh, there will be a temple, an ISKCON temple in Kurukshetra. Uh, we have smaller places, the, the uh, Gaudiya Math, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's 
devotees have created many mosques there in in Kurukshetra, which are quite famous and frequented by many, many pilgrims. So Kurukshetra still exists, Dharma Shetra, Kurukshetra, Samaveda, Yuksavaha, Pandava, Kim Makurvata Sanjayaha, Dharma Shetra, Kurukshetra, Dharma Shetra, Kurukshetra, Forgot the verse. <laughs> anyway, it's the first verse in the Bhagavad Gita. Dharma Shetra Kuru Shetra. What was the next line? Samaveda uh, Yusavaha. What was it? Samaveda Yusavaha. Samaveda Yusavaha. Pandavas. Pandavas. Pandavas Chaiva. Chaiva Kim Akurvata Sanjayaha. Yeah. Yeah, Dhritarashtra is, is speaking. Dhritarashtra Uvacha, yeah. Hmm. And he's asking Sanjay, uh, what did my sons and the sons of Pandu do after assembling at the holy place of Kurukshetra? <laughs> uh, Prabhupada says, this is a very silly question. <laughs> You steer king, you I'm not you steer, but uh, what is it? Uh, but Dita Rasta is asking a silver question. When two armies come together at a holy place and are ready to fight, what are they going to do? They're going to fight. <laughs> so the question is obvious, or the answer is obvious. That, but to set the stage for the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita, this, this verse sets the place as Kuru Shetra as being Dharma Shetra. It is not only a place of pilgrimage, but it, it is a place of great devotion. In fact, uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati says that the highest form of service is anywhere is performed in Guru Shetra. And he writes about that. The highest form of service is that uh, Srimati Radharani and the gopis have now come to see Krishna, but they cannot really enter into that mood of devotion to Krishna that was so prominent when they when Krishna was with them in Vrindavan. So what is what is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati saying? Radharani is now feeling lost. She needs consolation. She needs someone to help her go through this struggle of seeing Krishna, but not being able to identify with that Krishna as she did when he was in Krishna in Kurukshetra and Krishna in Vrindavan appear to her to be different and therefore her mood of devotion is not as it's not the same so therefore the highest service one can perform is to pacify Radharani in her anxiety of seeing Krishna in Guru Shetra and arranging for Krishna to come back to Vrindavan, which is if he actually it does, and that is called the Ratriyatra ceremony. And one who performs that service is the performs the highest service directly to Srimati Radharani. That's written and it's really deep. When you read it, your first year astonished. How can Kuru Shetra be the highest service that one can perform to Srimati Radharani? You would think it's Vrindavan. But according to the pure Acharyas, the disservice and separation and the lamentation of the anxiety that comes by way of not able to express that love and relationship to Krishna 
is found in Purusha. Okay, so we'll stop here. Thank you so much, Marsh. It was such a beautiful class and um, walking us through this journey of the glories of Kurukshetra. Would like to ask devotees if you have any questions, any comments, clarification, please. You can either raise your hand or jump right in. Um, I will call upon you if you show the raised hand. Um, going down the list here. Uh, I think I'm going to probably stop sharing screen. Because uh, actually, that's not me. I have to ask uh, Brenda to stop sharing screen so that we can. There we go. Perfect. So, Marja, I have a question while the other devotees are thinking of questions. As, um, as you were speaking on the glories of Srimad Bhaktam Maharaj, and you were saying how Srimad Bhaktam has every subject, you know, that's in it. But how, as, as devotees, how can we understand and present Srimad Bhagavatam as an all-around organization? Because we tend to just speak more of it, which is, which is great. We tend to speak more of it from the Krishna conscious spiritual point of view. But um, at least for me, I don't come across or don't you know, encounter devotees speaking on the other aspects of life. That is yeah, that's there. It's also they talk about family planning. That's in there. How to get, how to find, how to find the proper husband and wife. That's also in Bhagavatam. Everything is there. Science is there. The fifth canto is full of scientific knowledge. The eleventh and twelfth canto full of prophecy and uh, various subject matters. Everything is there. Ayurveda is there. It's all there. And Prabhupada has said it. Mm -hmm. I'm just simply repeating his words. He said, everything, every subject matter is in Srimad Bhagavatam. That is a direct statement from his divine grace. And it's a fact. The more you read and the more you hear, because you have to not only read it, you won't get everything if you read it. You have to hear from the commentators who speak about the different verses in Bhagavatam, and then you will get, you'll go deeper into the knowledge and to the variety of the different subjects that are in Bhagavatam. Thank you, Marge. So, yeah, it comes by way of the Acharyas, and in particularly in our case, Srila Prabhupada. So Marja, as, as you were speaking about the scientific aspect of Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, what came to my mind is um, Sadhaputta Prabhu's books, you know, and he was a mathematician, I think, or, or, or a scientist. Was his books, Maharaj, based on the Bhagavatam? Because it was like really far out. Like he yeah, had... yeah, based on the fifth canto. Many of his books. But he also re researched other Vedic literatures too. Thank you, Maharaj. Any questions from devotees on this beautiful, you know, verses of Lord Krishna going through the journey? Um, Maharaj, I was really enjoying um, as you were speaking about the glories of Kurukshetra, and it's so interesting that. Um, a few, uh, many years ago, I used to always ask myself that I always hear the glories of Mathura, Vrindavan, and uh, Mayapur, but not much is spoken on Kurukshetra, like just like 20 something years ago. And now it's so nice to hear that. Marsh, can you shed some, add more glories, or can you share with us more about the glories of Kurukshetra? <laughs> well, there's Brahmakund there, from under, yeah, Brahmakund. And um, once a year, during, I think it's a solar eclipse, or uh, a particular time of the year when the astrological arrangements is there, millions of people come and take bath right at sunrise. 
And this beautiful and very huge uh, kund. I think it's called Brahma kund. Yeah. Right across the street from Brahma kund is the uh, Gaudiya Math, the chief center of the Gaudiya Math in Kurukshetra. Um, I was there, and of course, there is that place where Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita. They have a uh, a uh, a glass case where there is Arjuna and Krishna in the chariot sitting inside this huge glass case. They indicate where Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I spent some time there. We actually spent maybe a few days there in one, with one family there. They were a very wonderful family and we spent time at their house. And we were traveling around to different areas in, in Kudu Shetra. Um, you would have to get more or less a more complete guide where it explains what's going, what's in Kudu Shetra. I'm sure maybe some of you who are sitting and listening today have been to Kurukshetra and know some of the other places that have been there, that are there also. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, Mother Sri Devi, please go ahead with the question. Thank you, Anasya. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to your divine lotus feet. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for this class, uh, emphasizing how important it is to understand all the various subject matters are there in Srimad Bhagavatam. So the science of dwelling places called Vastu Shastra, where houses were scientifically designed to align with all the different energies and bring health, wealth, prosperity, peace, everything to the inhabitants to foster their Krishna consciousness also is almost lost today where we have any construction happening anyhow, anywhere with no regard to, <laughs> to even basic uh, needs being met of the uh, future uh, inhabitants of that home. What to speak of high rises and skyscrapers and things like that where people don't even, you know, sometimes come down to Mother Earth for days together. So I was wondering what impact do these kind of structures have on us? Would you kindly be able to tell something on this topic? Which structures you mean, the material ones or the ones in the Vedic culture? No, I'm talking about today's dwelling places or homes constructed without any regard for Vastu. Vastu Shastra. Oh. Well, these concrete and steel buildings actually are, they work against the physical rhythm of the body. And people get sick easy, they get depressed, their lives are shortened. Now you got 4G and then you got 5G coming up. When 5G starts hitting in a grand way, I mean, people are going to be dying like crazy. <laughs> All of this. This modern civilization is, uh, it's a bunch of bar barbarians who are trying to kill each other. That's all it is. <laughs> it's <with> today's civilization. <laughs> they're fighting over land, they're fighting over money, they're fighting over power and prestige. And sense gratification is the only, the only aim in life. So these big buildings that they build, stack them up high. Prabhupada says they didn't, they didn't, they didn't live like that in Vedic cultures. Of course, he said they also had big buildings, but and not so much for, they were like palaces, <laughs> not like these little boxes where you, um, you get a room, and two rooms and a bathroom and a kitchenette. And you're, it's more like being in prison. <laughs> so we are actually shortening our lives. We are actually uh, impairing our health 
what to speak of our relationships and you know anything that is going to foster a sense of connection with mother earth all that is lost by these kind of structures and these kind of buildings which have no regard for uh, the uh, well-being of the occupants yeah Prabhupada's plan for the future was farm communities simple living not just for not just for uh, the devotees but for the whole world Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Ma Maharaj, just, uh, piggybacking on uh, Sridhar Mataji's question. So because, you know, devotees that don't live in farm communities and they live outside of the farm communities and they are, you know, and they have homes that they purchase. And, and we know that, you know, like she was saying in today's homes, it's not based on Vastu Shastra. It's just, you know, erected buildings on whatever. So as devotees, how because we know that the home you know is not vastu shastra based in terms of how they build it how can we make our home um lack of a better word vastu shastra without turning and without breaking the foundation down and still be able to perform devotional service and not have have it shorten our life because it's so not in alignment yeah, i i'm the prime example for that question I got the answer because I've been I'm, I I I went through it and I'm still going through it. And so I have a disciple. And she's in uh, Slovenia. They gave me an apartment in Slovenia. It was the worst place I could ever possibly be because the energy was so bad that when I got there, I wanted to leave immediately. <laughs> and. Uh, I just kept saying, I have to get out of here. <laughs> so, but I had no choice because it was the lockdown time when I had no place to go. So I called in my uh, disciple and with her husband, both of them know Vastu, but she's, she's expert. She does it as a, as a profession. So she came in and she drew maps and she told me where to align the different activities in my house accordingly and avoid certain places like that. So it, it kind of uh, helped to bring about a little better energy. Yeah. And uh, I have a little, like a, a spigot, a picture. It's about this big, not very big. And it has a swastika on it, but it's not a swastika, it's that symbol that you see on, on Vedic temples. So I put that in the bathroom filled with water and it draws the negative energy that is in the area into that water. And then you throw the water out and change it about once a week like that. So I do that. And uh, I had to move some of the things that I was, you know, where I sleep, where I work, where I worship, uh, everything had to be changed around until I got it to a little bit of a better energy, but it's not, it'll never get ideally because the Brahmastan is the bathroom. <laughs> so my bathroom is my Brahmastan, which is the center of the house. That's the area. The doors on backwards. Everything is goofy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So I do a lot of chanting, and I put pictures up all over the place, and I <laughs> I keep it super clean, and I uh, so I try to recreate or upgrade the spiritual energy to some degree like that. But I can feel the difference when I leave there and I go to other places, how it is when I, the difference, the effects that I have, it has on sleeping, the effects it has on chanting, all of that is different in that place because of the, it's really bad. Mine is really bad. Maybe most houses are not so bad. 
So you can bring in someone who knows Vastu, there are devotees who do that, and get a, you know, an evaluation, a, uh, an alteration of, you know, some of the things in the house that could be moved from place to place, some things that could be changed, some things that could be placed in the house to help draw negative energy away like that. Various types of yantras you can place. Mm -hmm. And, but the best thing is just chant all day, that's all. If you chant all day, <laughs> then the more you chant, have kirtan in the house, then it'll be, it'll start to upgrade. Now, you know her, you know her very good, Sri Devi. It's, uh, it's uh, Mahalakshmi now. From Slovenia, you know her. She's the wife of uh, Ananda Vardhana. Ah, yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know that she was doing Vastu also. Oh, she's and you good. Said doing yeah. astrology. Yeah. Thank you. I'll contact you, Sri Ashri Devi, <laughs> to get the information. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you need, you need I'm somebody. Sorry, on, you need somebody on the spot, somebody in your local area to come in and draw maps, and do an evaluation, give suggestions. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, Mother Gita, please go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you. Maharaj, um, you practically answered my question I was going to ask, but if supposing we don't have a local devotee to evaluate, is there any book or any place where we can get information that we can at least on our own try to see what's the situation of the house? The science of Vastu is becoming more and more available now in the modern world. And there are now more and more books are coming out, but there are some really books that are expert. So what you would need to do is uh, get opinions from different persons who are expert in that field and see which books they recommend. Because there are many. And yeah, you could read and you can make, make some improvement, improvements on your own. Like you should never have your workplace and your sleeping place in the same room. You shouldn't have your desk in the same room that you sleep. <laughs> That's just an example. Thank you, Maharaj. Vindavan Nath Prabhu, you can ask your question. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, Guru Maharaj, you like uh, mentioned about loving Krishna in uh, like this mode of separation. So my question is related to uh, Shri Chastakam verse 7 and 8 where loving Krishna in separation versus loving Krishna uh, in meeting, which one is higher mood? And uh, also how to develop this mood where we feel that Lord is completely free to do anything and everything? Mm -hmm. Well, verse seven is Vipralamba and verse eight is Sambhog. <laughs> But the mood of surrender appears from these series of verses to culminate in the last verse, Alishyava Paravatam Pinastu Mamma Darshanam Marmahatam Karotuva Yatatata Vabiradatu Lampatam Matpranam Nastu Saeva Napparaha. This complete and utter selfless service and sacrifice. Uh, there's no, there's no, there's no self 
conception left anymore. I simply belong to Krishna 100% in thought, word, action, everything. And that is illustrated in the last verse, which is Sambhog. But the expression or the experience of loving emotions is heightened in the mood of Vipralambhavag. Yugaitam yameshena chakshusha pravishaitam shunyaitam jagat sarvam govinda virahename. Feeling your separation, I considered a moment to be 12 years or more. Tears are falling from my eyes like torrents of rain, and I'm feeling all vacant in the world in your absence. One moment seems like 12 years. When one knows that the, the time is a perception of consciousness and not simply a two hands on a clock. So how we, how we experience time is due to our consciousness. When we're happy, time goes fast. When we're sad, time goes slow. When we wait, time stops. <laughs> when we love, then there's no more time. So we can develop Guru Maharaj this mood by devotional service like chanting and serving. Yeah, these are the two things, chanting and serving. Prabhupada says chanting is the essence, it's the foundation, it's the highest, but without service, it doesn't develop beyond a certain point. It's supportive and also necessary. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. That was a very nice question, Vrindavan Nath Prabhu, because um, I, uh, sometimes as devotees, we always um, forget the concept, I think, Maharaj, and probably if you could um, shed some light, if it's possible, that we, we think that um, meeting the Lord is more important or more advanced or more progressive in Krishna consciousness than Vipralamba Seva. And um, how can, because it, it's just a high C much that it, it's not just everyone, it's even me, like personally, like we get so caught up in that, oh, I have to meet the Lord, I have to meet the Lord, as opposed to, you know, um, uh, understanding that service is service, it's Vipalamba Seva. Um, how can we see the importance, Maharaj, of service, whether it's away from the temple, as opposed to, you no, know, it's important to be do, doing service in the temple. You know, like, I don't know if I'm making sense. <laughs> You're trying to, mm, you talking about separation from the temple? Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, kind of not not far from the temple, Mars. Like, for example, I remember this happened many, many, many years ago in Gitanagri, and uh, Bhakti Tirata Swami was um, giving darshan, uh, and um, and you know, as you know, as, as usual, whenever a guru is giving darshan, whoever it is, all the devotees want to run for darshan, and they don't want to you know do, do their service, and they find someone to you know cover their service so that they can get the darshan. And I remember Mother Rajalila um, really chastising this devotee and, and saying, you know, you wanted to go to darshan, but you had someone else, you know, in, in, this devotee asked me to cover um, his deity service. And she was like, sh she was, sh she, was uh, she was not happy, but she was telling us to this person and me that the importance is not showing up in front of the spiritual master. Say, oh, I came for your darshan but to make sure that the service is also, you know, being covered. So how can we redevelop that mood, Maharaj, 
that I yeah, it appears to be con it appears to conflict, but ultimately we associate through service. Mm -hmm. If we have an opportunity to go, we should go. But if it means giving up our service and the, and the service is not being done, then uh, then our going is more like for us and not for the guru. The guru likes to see us come, you know, so he's giving darshan. But then again, we may have service that cannot be if it's a practical thing if you can if someone will agree to cover your service fine but if you put them if you're kind of forcing them or bribing them then that would be uh, a you know it would be like uh, taking advantage of that other person So, um, yeah, it's almost like they're conflicting. You want to be with the spiritual master in here, and at the same time, you have your prescribed duties. I had the same thing. When I, when Prabhupada came to New Vrindavan, I was in the kitchen cooking, and the devotees, well, I'll give you an example, maybe a better one, is Prabhupada's servant, Shruti Kirti. Um, when Prabhupada came to New Vrindavan in 1972 for the, for the John Mastami Festival, Prabhupada stayed there a whole week and uh, there were many classes. Shruti Kirti was the cook at the time and he couldn't go to the classes and the lectures because he had a continue to cook for all, all the devotees who were there. But at the end of the time that when Prabhupada was about to leave, Prabhupada came to Kirtananda Swami and said, uh, I need a, uh, a personal assistant. Can you give me someone? And then Kirtananda Swami said, well, actually Shruti Kirti, he's been here and he's been doing nice service and and doing his service nicely he didn't even get any of your association so he he can be your servant now so he sacrificed and then he got the greatest amount of mercy he became Prabhupada's personal servant so i also had the same benefit that when i didn't go i cooked for Prabhupada and Prabhupada liked my cooking and the message i got back from Prabhupada was he was very pleased. So, yeah. But Mark, it's not, how can we... I'm sorry, it's Mark. Not, it's not one way or the other. Sometimes you just think, I got to go. <laughs> I got to hear. I got to get that association. <laughs> I mean, if it's like, sometimes I've seen devotees do their service in advance and then they get it all done in advance and then they can go and then they come back and finish it when they get back <laughs> so, <laughs> you can't fault that because both are it's just natural to want to be and hear from the spiritual master jayananda prabhu we heard about him how when Prabhupada came, he would never go to see Prabhupada. He would always be working. Prabhupada would call for him and ask him, where is, where is Jayananda? Oh, he's doing this service or that service. He always felt that to serve is higher than to come and sit and have the association. And Prabhupada accepted it in that way also. And, and Marsh, you, you used a very nice term, you know, associating through service. And how can we develop that? Where do you understand what the food of service is for? <laughs> it's not just to fill up the clock with activities. <laughs> that 
Thank you so much, Maharaj, for shedding light on that. It's such a, and, and especially the pastimes, it's so beautiful when you act to it. It's like, wow. Thank you, Maharaj. Any questions from devotees? Any thoughts coming? Any takeaways? Anything? Please uh, do jump right in. Um, and if there isn't, Maharaj, would you like to end with one round of chanting, Maharaj? It's your call, Maharaj. You don't have to do it. If you have something, I'm fine. I just don't want to disobey your instruction. That's why I'm asking. If I said no, I'd be selfish. And if I'd said yes, I'd be happy. <laughs> Whatever pleases you and, and it works with your schedule, Maharaj. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me because <clears throat> it really sets the stage for my next activity, which is prashadam. <laughs> <laughs> A little japa before prashad. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. I think it's prashadam on your side too. It's breakfast, right? Yes, Maharaj. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm in, I'm in lunch here. <laughs> are you in, are you back in Europe, Maharaj? Yeah, I'm in uh, Croatia right now. Oh, nice. Nice. Like that. Is Mahima cooking for you, Maharaj? I'll be, I'm going to their house tonight. Haribol! A oh, wonderful Maharaj. Please offer my basis to them, Maharaj. I haven't seen her for years. Yeah, and tomorrow she'll be uh, in the kitchen. Haribol. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay. Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Kanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasudhi Gaur, Bhaktivinoda. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 H
Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Ram Hari Ram Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Hari Rama 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Rama 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Rama 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 Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे सा हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे सा हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे सा हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे सा हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे राम हरे 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 कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे सा हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण श्री प्रभुपाद की Thank you so much, Marsh, for giving us your association and your darshan and your blessings. And we thank the devotees for joining us. Vanchak Rapta Bias Chakri Kusinda Devicha Patita Nam Pavane Vya Vaishna Vya Namo Namaha Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Chandra Mali Swami Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Hare Krishna. My, my obeisance is to all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. See you next month. <laughs> In US? No, no, no. I mean, see oh. you next month on the. We'll be in. <laughs> we'll be June the next time I come here, right? I got. A, I got overexcited, much pre-excited. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm coming to the Marge. I'm coming to the U.S. So there's, but maybe in Ju late July, probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I look forward to having your darshan, Maharaj, and your mercy and blessings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maharaj, speak, please. Speaking Maharaj, a strange, please. strange language. <laughs> Maharaj, please put Atlanta on your list. Atlanta. Atlanta, oh yeah. Let's see. Please. I spent spend many time many days in Atlanta Temple. It's what's the name of that street that the temple is on? It's a very oh Panza de Leon, right? Yes, yes. That's yes. right. I remember Panza de Leon. Yeah. Temple is nice. Prabhupada came there many times, gave some really powerful classes there, especially in, in uh, the beginning of March, the end, the very last day in February and the first few days in March in 1975. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada came there, really landmark classes. And Atlanta was once the the, the best book distribution temple in the U.S. Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> We've got wonderful devotees like Balabhadra. He's still yeah. there. Yeah. Yes, Maharaj. Yeah. Balabhadra has been there for 30 or 40 years, I think. It's, that's the only one I know. And then Beta Sara, he's still there. Yes, Maharaj. Yeah. 
Please come. I I did I went we did a Rathi Yatra with them there. And oh, oh Atlanta Temple is uh, it's Nupani Hati, right? Yes, Maharaj, and the Rathi Yatra is first week of June. Yeah, so will Jai Pataka Maharaj come this year for Pani uh, He he visited a month ago and but he's back in India now. Oh, okay. When he does Panihati there, it's like out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maharaj. Yeah. I have many nice memories of Atlanta. <laughs> Maybe when you visit, you can relive them, Maharaj. Please come. Also, Bhakti Tirtha Swami and I were dancing in Rati Yatra in Atlanta one one year. You remember that, Anasuya, huh? Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> what year was that? 1999 or something like I that? I think it was 94. 94, probably, yeah. It was even 94. Yeah. That was a wild Rati Yatra. <laughs> Pariksha, I think, was there, right? Yeah. Yes, much. He was the um, he was the man driver for all the devotees back in the Yes, nice memories. And uh, Gornitai still stands stands on the middle altar, right? Yes, much. And Radha Krishna is on the right altar, right? Yes, Radha Madana Mohan. Radha Madan Mohan, and on the left over is Jagannath, right? Yes, Maharaj. So that because it was such a powerful Sankirtan temple, they made Gornitai the the main deities in the on the altar. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Gita, I think you got Maharaj reliving the memory, so he might come. <laughs> yes, I hope and pray. Many nice memories of Atlanta. Okay, I should go because there are upcoming activities. Thank you so much, Marge. And we really look forward to you to your visit in Pennsylvania. Really, really can't wait. Thank you so much. Hare 